You smell what I smell? That's some pure bullfit. Jennifer is a great many things. Strong, beautiful, but she's not someone you make angry. She's banished me here to this strange realm, and I am not unaccustomed to the unusual or the odd or magic, but something about this place, the air, the plants, everything, it just feels different. I've been sent here to cool my heels and think about my transgressions as I was not receptive enough to her ill temper, and I find myself surrounded by strange metal objects and stranger writing. But not everything is unfamiliar. This building, it reminds me of a school, an academy, perhaps a guild. Some place I can spend a little time while she comes to her senses and deigns to return me home from this wretched smelling place. I find the walls are covered in pictures of what I can only assume are their great warriors, striking poses, fearlessly wearing the smallest amounts of clothing, a sight I'm not altogether unfamiliar with. I've spent my time in brothels. I approach the innkeeper or the guild master, I'm not sure which, and ask him if this is a place I can spend a few hours. And he says yes, but I'll need to be a member or I'll need to have a guest pass. He did not seem suitably impressed. Perhaps he is unaware of my reputation. He insists I will in fact need a guest pass. So I show him the only one I have available. It suffices. I do my best to blend in with the strange customs of the locals. They seem to delight in walking in place, moving their bodies without traversing any distance. But as always, I am greeted with strange looks and standoffishness. I begin to explore the rest of the building and it is filled with strange machines, a combination of cables and metal and resistance plates, presumably to help them make their bodies stronger. Stronger for what, I cannot tell. None, few if any, carry the scars of battles won or lost. They all seem content to put their bodies through the rigors of training for no particular reason that I can fathom. I thought this was a rack full of weapons, but it soon became obvious it was simply another implement for growing stronger. Not content to simply occupy space, I begin to explore the rest of the facility. The rest of this, what I can only presume is an academy. I find this room designated for men only to be greeted with the foulest of stench and smell. Finally, I stumble across the warriors of this land. While their hands are covered in strange protective devices, they seem to be training, giving their all for whatever battle may come in this strange place. Seeking to do my best to fit in, I approach their guild leader. I tell him I too have fought Titans and I would like to train. After a brief bout with their soft bag, I quickly discover that perhaps this may not be the training facility for me, and I return his strange hand pillows before moving on. I'm starting to get into a groove. I, by watching the people around me, I have seen the various ways that they try to engage in strengthening their bodies. It is a relatively large facility, and I find many physical challenges waiting for me, but not all are wise. Some are just flat out stupid. But I find not everything is different here. Some essential everyday movements are common across all the realms. I soon start to feel more and more like I fit in and I'm getting less strange looks. The locals can even become quite friendly if you observe their strange traditions of greeting and asking if you can work in. It was not long at all before they paid no regard at all to the way that I was dressed, my manner of speaking, or my strange appearance. In fact, I find this place welcoming to all, even a witcher like me. A place where anyone can go to seek self-improvement. I wave to the innkeeper as I leave and he requests his towel, but a witcher must be paid. There is pay and there is monsters, seldom both. What's up, motivators? Some of you might be wondering what the hell is going on. A 
couple months ago, I put out a challenge for you folks to tell me who you wanted me to dress up as and go to the gym, and you all picked, overwhelmingly, The Witcher. But this isn't about just magic and sorcery and silliness and all of that. There is a point to all of this. There's this persistent notion put out there, like companies like Planet Fitness, or the health at every size and fat acceptance that you're not welcome at the gym, you're gonna be treated poorly just for showing up. And I wanna combat that notion. I dressed up in a silly ass costume and I told like two people so that they could help me out with it. Showed up at the gym and within minutes, I was accepted. The point is gym intimidation is nonsense. Be silly, be weird, be out of shape, be big, be small, but you are welcome. All right, Jennifer, I learned my lesson. Are you hungry? Yes, I could eat. Okay, so what would you like to eat? I don't know. <sighs> you sent me to this godforsaken realm. What do you want to eat? I told you, I don't know. Jennifer, what do you want? I want everything! All right, guys, that's it. That's the video for today. If you liked it, do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good jazz. If you are looking for one of the free programs I provide to help you live a longer, better quality life, there are links in the description below. Go ahead and check them out. Till I see you guys in the next video, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and go fit yourself.